All right, in this step I'm going to show you how to create Lab 2 for PowerPoint using the Mac version, which is PowerPoint 2011. The first step is to pick any theme that you'd like. I'm going to select black tie. You can change colors on some of these if you wish. If you'd like to, go right ahead. When you've selected your theme and colors, select Choose. And then your second step will be to modify the presentation to show your full name in the footer. So you will go into Insert, Header and Footer, make sure to select the footer, and type in your name. And I'm going to select Don't Show on Title Slide because I'm going to be adding my name as the subtitle. I will click Apply to All, and then in step three, I have to add the title, adding content in PowerPoint. And then for the subtitle, you enter your name. In step five, we're going to add a new slide with title and content. So you'll click this down arrow on the right hand side and choose title and content. Title it, inserting a table, and then I want you to click on the first square to add content. Insert a table with three columns and three rows. I would like you to type some information in this table. You can use tab to move from cell to cell. I'm not going to take the time to do that. It's exactly the same way it works in Word. We're going to next add a new slide with title and content. So we return to the Home tab, New Slide, Title and Content. And we're going to make the title Adding Charts. Now for this one, we're going to select the second tile here that's to insert a chart. And then you have to select one of your chart types. I'm going to choose a pie chart. This will launch Excel and you are welcome to play with changing the data if you'd like. You might want to try that in a cell, see what happens. And you can see third quarter has now gotten significantly larger. When you're done, you can close Excel and your chart will still be here. I want you to make sure that your chart has the legend and title. You do that with chart layout and you make sure that chart title and legend are both showing, which most of them have by default. Now we're going to add a two content slide. So we're going to turn to Home, New Slide, To Content, and here we're going to work with different types of images. There are a few more selections from the Clip Art Gallery for, the, um, for PowerPoint 2013, but we can show you how to do the things I want you to do here. Now you can pull up the Clip Art Gallery here, which will give you all images, and it's got some interesting things in here, and if you'd like to, you can use some of these, but it's not everything that I'm looking for. I'm going to choose my photograph from here and drag it in. Now automatically it fills the entire area, but if you want to see the whole picture, you can resize it to fit inside. Now for the other side, I'm going to have you use the Insert menu, Clip Art, Clip Art Gallery. It has some more selections. I want to show you how to remove a background. The symbols have some good options for that. I'm going to use the dollar sign. Actually, I think I'll use the at sign. And I'm going to hit insert. It's a little larger than I'd like. So I'm going to make it fit. And then I'm going to choose to format the picture by removing the background and I want to make sure that I've included 
the entire image, and then I can draw on areas that I want to remove. And I can draw on areas I want to add. That's about what I'm looking for. When you're done, you can hit enter. Now for the actual photograph type image, I want you to choose one of the picture styles that basically gives it some sort of a frame on it. And there's lots of different choices here. Pick any one that you'd like. For the next slide, we're going to insert video. So you're going to go back to Home, New Slide, and choose Content with Caption. We're going to call this one Inserting Video. Now I don't want you to actually hand in inserted video, but I will show you how to do it. If you're going to play a presentation that you have on a thumb drive or a hard drive, this is the better option. And so I have a video that I've saved to my desktop and I'll put it up in Canvas in case you'd like to try. And this will actually launch. For the first sample in my video. But because it's a three minute video, I don't actually want you to upload it. Your other option, if you were to be wanting to play video, would be to put in a hyperlink to your video. So I'm going to use the sharing link. I'll copy, I'll paste, and you can choose any YouTube video. I'm going to hit enter, and then the way this would work would be to open a link to that video. And that's the better choice if you're going to be uploading something where you're worried about file sizes. Next, we're going to insert a blank slide at step nine. And we're going to add a shape. I'm going to use the basic shape and the smiley face. You can change all sorts of things on your shape. I'm just going to use quick dials. And I chose the smiley face because it has the option here. It has a gold diamond that allows you to change whether it's frowning or smiling. So if you see that gold diamond on a shape, that's what it allows you to do. I want to add an animation to this. I'm going to go to Animations, and I'm going to choose a motion path. You can draw custom paths for an animation to follow. And you can even take it off the screen. If it's too fast, you can change the duration. and that will slow it down or speed it up depending on what you decide to do. We're going to do a more common type of animation. We're going to animate a bulleted list. So I'd like you to add a new slide from the Home button, New Slide, Title and Content, and we're going to call this Animating Bullets, and we're going to add a bulleted list. So we're going to click on bullets and we're going to left align because I like my bullets to line up. And I'll just call them bullet one, two, three, and four. Now it's a good idea if you're working with a bulleted list to select everything and make sure that it pretty much fills your screen. Now I want to add an entrance effect I'm going to go back to Animations and choose Fly In. Now by default they all come in at the same time. It's usually more useful to have them start after you click. So you'll click on each of these numbers and choose On Click. And that way if you were to play that slide you can discuss each bullet point as you bring them in. 
Now I want you to rearrange the slides so your animated slides become slides 2 and 3. You can do that from this view. It doesn't matter which order they are as long as they're 2 and 3. Or I prefer the slide sorter view. It's a little bit easier to see everything. This will return me to my normal view. Now I'm going to add a slide transition. These are the effects that you get when you're moving from slide to slide. I just chose random bars, but there's lots of choices in here. Pick any one that you like and apply it to all slides. Now if I were to play the whole slideshow, you'll see that that transition happens between each slide. The final step is to save as your last name and you call it PowerPoint or PP Lab 2 and then hand that in.